Hi, just a quick video uh, showing you how to bend some stainless steel rod to match a, a template here. Um, under strict instructions from Mrs. EV blog, I've got to manufacture a couple of dozen of duplicates of this, um, which you can't buy anymore. It's for a garden uh, thing that she wants to expand. So this is an original. So um, yeah, I have to create my own. I've got to bend them and it's kind of annoying. It's got a little small, tiny little bit at the end there. This one doesn't look too bad, but I've got to match it. And here's one that I've manufactured uh, before. So I'm going to show you how I do that now. I've got some uh, 3.18 millimeter stainless steel rod here. None of that uh, imperial rubbish. So let's have a go at uh, bending this to match this. And all I'm going to do is a do-it-yourself jig and the Mark I eyeball. Let's go. So my do-it-yourself bending jig is just a uh, vise with two screwdrivers in here um, that the diameter of which uh, matches the um, inside uh, uh, dimension of the bend that we actually uh, want. Got to be Stanley screwdrivers, of course, no worries. And I've just got a cable on the cable tie on the top there just to stop it flapping around in the breeze. Okay, first thing is you just want to put the tip in. I'm telling you, just the tip, okay? Trust me. So we've got that in and it's just enough so it stops uh, slipping, although this would actually be the length that you need, but I'm gonna do this small end here, okay? So I'm gonna bend that, start bending that around. Hang on, gotta change hands. Well, it's easy to do this one-handed hold, holding the camera. But anyway, I'm gonna bend that, and you wanna pull back at the same time, of course, and then you wanna over bend it, because otherwise we're gonna end up with a uh, gigantic angle on there we don't want. So I'm going to bend that and pull further back than we need and we can bend that back later. Trust me. So we've ended up with a bit of a hook at the end like that. That's a bit how you're doing but we can actually um, bend that bend that back okay so we can put that back in our jig and then just and just give that a little little bit of a bend ski back with your tongue at the right angle and Bingo, we end up with a fairly decent looking hook, which matches that. Beauty. Now, this is where we want to use our reference template. Once again, single-handed, it's a bit hard, but what we want is the inside uh, distance from the inside of the original. So align at this, this end, and then you want, once again, hold your tongue at the right angle and just put it in there and pull it back until you can virtually see no gap on the inside of the original template to the edge of the screwdriver there. And that is the point that will get you pretty precisely, you know, to the nearest millimeter or so. Uh, you know, it'll be pretty good. So hold that in there like that. And then, okay, so I reckon that's pretty close. Now, what you wanna do now is Bend it 90 degrees over. Or oh, doing this one hand, it's a bit dodgy. And once you've done your 90 over, you can start bending again. So I'm going to bend that, pull it once again, pull backwards, pull backwards, pull backwards. So you want to go past a decent amount like that because you can then just push it forward a little bit Push it forward a little bit, and then you can bend it back straight like that. There you go, until it just springs back to darn near that. And then you just want to twist that out of there, and ta-da, we have a, oh, yeah, it's a little bit bendy. You might want to just hand bend that back or put it back in the jig. But uh, so now we want to get our original in there and just mark it off at the exact cutting length that you want. And then just want to get in there with your bolt cutters and cut that off. You want to hold both so they don't fly off because you could come, a, could come a gutter there easily. That is our completed bend. Look at that. Oh, is that good enough for Australia? I think that's good enough for Australia. It's not the best one I've done, but not too shabby, huh? There you go, so that's how you bend stainless steel rod. And uh, just using do-it-yourself little jig with a couple of screwdrivers and the Mark I eyeball. Don't even really have to cut that end there. Good enough for Australia, huh? Catch you next time.